Once you have your two clips, you're going to need to click on the clip that you're replacing your eye with. Under effects, you want to click on a pen tool under opacity and make a shape. Untick inverter to get the replacement inside your shape. And use the points to create the shape of the eye, like this. You then want to click the stopwatch next to mask path. Click the right arrow on your keyboard to get to the next frame and then click back on your mask to be able to edit the shape again. Once you have covered the shape, click on the timeline and click the right arrow on your keyboard again. Then click on your mask and edit that frame. Keep on doing this until you have completely finished your clip. I'm going to speed this up, but I'll show a bit of like my process. Then click on your eye layer, hold alt and drag to the side which will duplicate the layer. Bring it to the top and cut it so it fits the replacement like this. Then click on the ellipsis tool under opacity and create a small shape which will cover your retina which is the small black circle in your eye. Once you have made the shape covering your retina, click the stopwatch again which is next to the mask path, like this. Click the timeline and then click the right arrow key on your keyboard which will move one frame. Edit the shape like you have done before, but shape your retina every time. Again I'm going to speed this up. Once you are satisfied with that, while still on the retina layer, click the drop down list on blend mode and change it to hard light. Only if it fits best for you, because it fits best for mine, but if not, try something different on the blend mode, if not just leave it as it is. Then click on your replacement layer like I have and click the same drop down list on blend mode. I'm going to change it to screen as I think it fits best for my video. But anyway guys, this has been a tutorial, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. It's like we're on the